only dude here, I got a lot of oil changes that I need to get done. Every vehicle in the fleet right now needs an oil change. And I'm starting with Big Blue, get it done, and then hopefully, uh, then I'll be able to get to the Sonoma and then the Nissan before the end of the day. But it takes me a little while to get all this stuff done. I am gonna try to use my camera that I bought. I haven't used it at yet on anything. So bear with me as I go through that. We'll see how the footage looks and i think it looks great but we'll see how it works in comparison to using just an iphone because that's what i generally use just the iphone so let's get started all right i got my cell phone back those batteries are are they're taking forever to charge for the camera so i and my wireless microphone is dead i got a whole stack of them just sitting here i need to work on them so anyways um I got the filter on as you saw and uh and it started and didn't leak this time i've added the two more quarts i'm going to check the oil again and see where it sits at this moment all right let's get in here and check this let's check this oil again <sighs> i'm frustrated i'm gonna put my uh headlight back on What a frustrating day, I'm telling you what. There we go. Let's go with that. Let's turn the right light there, right? Let's see. It's in the okay zone, but I'm definitely short. So, let's check one more time. Yeah, I'm about a quart or so short. So here's the thing, I'll leave that sitting right there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add this other oil and I'll show you why, give me a second. So I honestly probably should go ahead and use this oil on this particular truck, only because um, it's for the uh, age of it, the engine's brand new. It doesn't have to have, I know it's a classics, it's 77, but because the engine is newer, it doesn't need to have all that zinc and stuff like that for it, like it would be for uh, the the older hot rods and stuff like that. But on the other truck, the Sonoma, I'm using this high mileage, and uh, it's good for 75,000 miles, or it's for anything over 75,000 miles, which the engine doesn't have that much on it, but it's good, it, it cleans and protects up to 12,000 miles or up to a year. Well, like I said before, I'm not getting, this truck is not getting over three, 4,000 miles a year. So I might just add this to it with the other stuff, the signature I already have in there, just because I don't wanna have to sit here and wait for the other stuff to come in and mixing the two is not gonna hurt it whatsoever. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just add a quart of this and call it good. Cause I bought, um, I got six still, six or seven still sitting over there and I bought a bunch of extra for the Sonoma because again, it burns through oil and I just, I like to use this instead of buying stuff at the gas station um, and trying to keep this uh, in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna mix it, I'm tired of this. Like I said, you, I'm sure somebody out there is gonna be like, no, you shouldn't do that. That's that's ridiculous. You're, you're, you're uh, mixing weights, you're mixing uh, the type of oils. Uh, you know what? It's not going to hurt. Man, I can't see very well. What am I doing? There we go. Get this down just a tiny bit. There. I'm just using these light all the way around. Yeah, this, this is a little thicker than the other stuff. But since the majority of it is the Signature Series, I mean, like I said, it's not gonna get the actual miles. I probably should use this stuff, or honestly, I probably should use the OEM um, oil because it's not gonna hurt it. It would be a lot cheaper. And since I'm changing it once a year, only because of the fact that it's, it's honestly, uh, it's not I'm, not, I'm not putting that many miles on this thing. I really not. So that's gonna take a little bit longer to drip down in there. So we'll let that do its thing. The bucket is full, 
So I'm going to go dump this out in the trash, and we'll come back and we'll check it. All right, thank you, my trash. Let's check it now. Let's see. Right back on. Just a tad bit shy, just a tad bit shy, but it is on. So it could probably use half a quart, which I think I'm gonna go ahead, just uh, open up one, add just a little bit more to it. Not a whole lot. Then I'm gonna start it up, and let it, uh, let it run for a little bit. And uh, warm up. Let those oil flow, all that fun jazz, and we'll go from there. So, all right, start her up. Check it again. There we go. Well, let's give it a minute. Right, letting it letting it run for a little bit. Didn't really warm up a whole lot, but at least got the filter completely filled, making sure. And uh, looking at it now, we are in good shape. Good shape. So we are good to go. All right. Okay, let's shut this down. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I gotta go find uh, some tape, some duct tape. Turn this light off, and uh, something or whatever that I can write the uh, date down. Cause I always write the date down on the right here on the panel, so that way I know when uh, when I did the oil change and the mileage I did it, and when I, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to put the next oil change date because it's it's going to be a year from now. So, okay, let me go see what I can find. So today is the 6th. It's Kate's birthday. So 7, 6, 24. And it's right now at 90,064 miles. So that's where we're at. I also have it written on the filter. So regardless... One way or the other, I know where it's written at. I can tell when it's done. But good thing is, is now I've done this video, so I can always refer back to the video if I want to and see when I did it. All right, I gotta go in here and I gotta, uh, I gotta pull that uh, funnel out of there. It's still sitting down inside there and put the cap on. Okay, so this truck, I need to get some ice cube juice for the radiator because it is a tad bit low, but it's not bad. So I gotta make a note to do that. Um, and I need to get a new 
fuel filter and an air filter for that eventually. So beyond that, it's at least it's ready to go running. I'm gonna take it for a drive and see how it does now that I've got this, uh, see if the squeaking and stuff has gone away. So let's shut her down. Make sure I don't leave anything in here, right? Okay. Shut it down. Okay. And uh, take it for a ride. I'll be back here shortly. I got the Sonoma to do now. So I brought that around. I'm gonna clean up the rest of my mess that I made here and uh, put the ramps out. I wanna put this up on the ramps. It's, uh, it's obviously a little bit shorter than Big Blue. So I can get it up in the air and uh, get this oil change. It should, this one should be easy. It should knock out pretty quick. Right, let's see how this works. Gotta call people down here. All right, so I got Madison and Kim coming down. They're gonna stand in front of these, basically, and just put their foot right here like this and hold it. I'm not gonna run them over, but they're always worried that I'm going to. So, we'll be down here shortly. There's more stickers. Just stand in front of them and just put one foot on it. Just kind of straddle yourself and try to keep it still.
things are. So I'm going to have to pull this in. I want it to be in a little further than that. So I have, let's see here. Okay, something the hood. so much more comfortable working underneath this thing with that the way it is just like big blue i'm going to put on here today's date which is 7 6 24 i'm going to go check the mileage see the oil was changed on 11 9 23 at 103,000 miles and it's due on 11 9 24 at 128.40. And right now, it's only at, at 108.190. 108.190. So, I didn't really even need to do this just yet. I could have waited. But because it burns through the oil a little bit, and I've had to keep adding, I decided, hey, why not? Let's just do it. All right, so that's on filter. You can see it there, seven, 108, 190. I highly recommend that you do that on all your filters when you're doing oil changes. Okay, so um, I think I need an extension for this one. Where's that oil filter at? I forget. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need an extension for that one. 
I'll set that right there. I'm gonna go get an extension and then I'll be back. <clears throat> Hopefully it's the same. Nine sixteenths. About to find out. <clears throat> that time <laughs> without getting it all over myself like I normally do I don't even know if you're seeing anything underneath there let's bring in a little closer there you go uh oh What's in a little bit of oil on the floor, right? I mean, come on, it's not like I don't have enough on the floor already. <laughs> I'm just having a great time. Never said I was professional. I just know what I'm doing enough to get myself in trouble. All right, let's see if we can get this sucker off. It's dripping a little bit, but I don't know. We're good. Get that on there. And click, click, torch. <laughs> okay. I just gotta remember for the big blue that I gotta. I gotta remember for Big Blue that I gotta just use a, um, use that wrench for it. This isn't too bad. All right, I'm gonna get the grease gun. Okay. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna grease all this points up here. So, just start from the very front. We got one right here. Clean it all around there. And on there. Clean that off right there. Um, let's see. Use my finger. Let's see if I can get the crud off of it. <clears throat> Hasn't been done in a while. That's for sure. I honestly haven't done it since I owned it. And that's been a little over a year, year and a half. Let's see, a little over a year and a half because it'll be like two years of September. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's start. I don't know if I can get to that upper control arm. I might have to do that for when it's on the ground. So. Coming out. Right. 
right, it's coming through. It's coming through. junk. <sighs> okay, so now my hands are, oh, uh oh, I just pulled that completely out. That's not good. To see if I can get that back in there. I don't know. It may have broken off. Wow. I don't know if that'll go back in or not. All right. Here's what I ran into. Grease gun up here. So I had one of the one of the fittings come out on the lower control arm. So I got to see if I can fish that out of there and uh, get it threaded back in. All right, there's where I busted it off at right there, the lower control arm. So I'm gonna get that put back on. But while I'm under here, see this metal? That's that backing plate for the, uh, the draw, uh, disc brakes. And it just keeps rubbing up underneath the thing and it's just it doesn't look like it's done any damage. It's just gone. It's just rotted. This is an old truck. So I'm gonna try to rip that out, get that greaser back in there. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to lower this and start adding oil. I'm just having a great time today. All kinds of stuff. But it's getting done. That's the important part. It's getting done. Greased all up. Now time to add some oil. Whew. Filters on, plugs back on. Oil time. Okay, I put four in. I can't remember exactly without looking up exactly what this is supposed to have. So, I'm going to start with four. 
gonna check and see where it's at. Granted, there is nothing in the filter right now. I want to at least make sure it's somewhat close. Oh, it's it's good. So let's leave that out. Let's leave that where it's at. This is a partial uh, that I used on the other truck. So let's start it up and let's see if it leaks. All right, I'm gonna be smart again this time. And I'm going to take this pan. Oh, there's one of those pieces of metal. Pull that over there. I'm going to take this pan. I'm going to set it underneath the filter, which should be about right there. Okay. There we go. Rain the thunder. No leaks. Oil pressure. Shut her down. All right, there we go. It ran, no leaks underneath. So now I'm gonna check the oil and uh, top it off to where it is and then this thing is done. All right, let's check it out. It's a piece of metal. Yeah, box for a step on it. Add this partial, and I think this sucker is good to go. I think while I'm at it, I'm going to check the radiator on this one too. Let's see how this one sits. I haven't checked it in a while. Whoa! Keep it all in the dryer. Are you empty it out in there? Shoot. Wow, I gotta get some antifreeze. This is, uh, this is like bone dry too. Well, I guess I'm starting at the Stopping at the uh, parts store on the way home or whatever and getting some 50 50. Alright. Pour that down in there. And. Well, you can see it or not. We're good. Right on the line. Right there. We're good. All right, this truck is completed. Put that back on there. This out. Right there. Get back on. Okay. Now, all that's left to do is to write the mileage down, the date and the mileage, so then I know when to do it now. Again, this one was good till, like I said, it was good till 12,000 miles. So, don't seem to be getting 12,000 miles driving around town here. So, I'm probably not going to be changing the oil. But as I mentioned earlier, um, I bought extras because uh, I want to be able to hold on to these and be able to put them in the truck uh, as we need it because it does burn a little bit of oil. Um, because of the seals, the O-rings are bad and they're, they're, they're old and probably cracked and everything, but they just kind of seep down into the manifold and when we start it up, it blows a thing, a poof of smoke. Once it does that, it's, it's good. It runs great, it doesn't have a problem. This has got the 4.3 liter in it, V6. It's a great engine. Um, my only thing is, is I kind of wish it was uh, carbureted instead of throttle body, but that might be something to look at in the future. I don't know. Right now, I'm just going to keep it where it is because it's running good and it's only a $1,500 truck. So that's going to be it on this truck. Um, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to put the mileages down on the, on the put a sticker down and get the mileage written down. And then I'm going to go park this. And then I got to run out to my buddy Levi's, which you guys all met Levi if you watch these videos. He was in my church and uh, he loves trucks and stuff like that. But needs some firewood and so he's got plenty of firewood out of his property so I'm going to jump into Big Blue and I'm going to run out there and grab some firewood from him and then uh, maybe when I get back tonight if I have time I might jump into the Nissan and get the Nissan done tonight 
so that all the vehicles oil changes are up and done and uh, we are good to go so I will catch you here in a little bit